This video is sponsored by Factor. More on them after the reaction. What is going on there, citizens of the reject nation? You guys know I love a good rom-com. And the missus over here, she was like, hey, you want to go to the theaters and watch anyone but you? And I said, no. no. You're going to sit here with a camera pointed at us. That's what we're going to do. Pretty much. That's the only time we watch movies together. Now. Only time now. I'm excited. You excited, babe? I'm very excited. I'm really looking forward to this. I know. I've heard good things. People are like, it's revitalizing the rom-coms. We get better. It better. I heard the actors are already reading scripts for a new film together. A new one? So the, not anyone and you. It's it's just a new a new anyone but the, the you new Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan. That, I was are, thinking like those uh, are my references. Mira Loy and William Powell. Oh, you're going further back. Okay, why not? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, guys, did you like this movie? Leave your thoughts down below. Leave a like on this video. You know the drill of everything I'm about to say. If you've been here before, subscribe and click that bell to get notified when our reaction is up for uh, another video here that piques your interest. Also, thank you to Prepper for helping us edit down these highlights. This movie, I here is a bit of a hard R romantic comedy. So YouTube, everything in here is fake, performed by a professional cast and crew, and we will take whatever precautions we need to to ensure that everything is fine. Full length reaction watch on every single with your own copy of Anyone But You. That's available for our super sexies over at our Patreon page. Over there, you get the full length reaction watch along, and John and I cover several things exclusive with highlights and watch longs included. Let's get into it, boo boo. ready for this movie to make me feel young again aren't these people our age yeah but they look so much younger that's rude you know they are they're hollywood royalty i don't feel like i look older than sydney sweet i don't look as good as sydney <laughs> sweetie but i don't look older than sydney sweetie uh where's your bathroom it's for customers only okay i'll i'll buy something you gotta pay up there I'll buy a shit ton of bread. Oh my god. Establishments that serve food or drink must be open to the public regardless of their purchasing class. Sorry, it's our policy. Store policy can't really supersede state law. <laughs> uh, honey, about to order. Do you want your usual? Uh, my wife would like a double oh. espresso. Oh. Yeah, so maybe I'll just have a peppermint tea with two sugars. Everyone knows you're lying. Thanks, husband. Thanks, husband. <laughs> oh, and the bread. It's grilled cheese night. And she is part of the purchasing class. Can we get the bathroom key? The purchasing class. <laughs> Thank you. Charming. Charming. Thank you. That was really nice. You know what? Her teeth look too big for her mouth. Just like mine. <laughs> I'll have your tea waiting for you. Can't leave my wife. This is sweet. I will see you on the other side. Is she not interested in him? What's going on? No, who would be? What do you mean who would be? It's Glenn Powell. You think he's attractive? Yeah. He looks like one of those Stonehenge figures. I just met this guy, and I don't know, it was something. Say she is into him. He bought me a tea, and then he might have just stolen my coat. But what do I do? I don't know. This is the time that I'm supposed to be meeting people and doing things. <laughs> what is going on, lady? How are you going to call you back? Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, it's going to be like she's taking a dump. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty clever. <laughs> Look at those shoes. <laughs> Are you okay? I am, uh, I'm a bit time okay. <laughs> I just, I had a pee for like the last six hours and I just started this new one. <laughs> and I, I, I didn't want to ask anyone where the bathroom was because I don't want them to think I was, uh, Weak and not a problem solver. What are you doing? Is it and by the way, it is not <laughs> <laughs> How is it not drying? <sighs> Checking her nose here. Peppermint tea. Thank you. Thanks for uh, not stealing my coat. I... She's so naturally pretty. Like, she didn't have a ton of makeup. Oh, my oh God. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's doing the romantic turn. So are you going to ask me out now? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm Ben. I'm B. Ben and B. Oh, that's cute. Oh. <laughs> oh, it looks charming. delicious. I know. Should we have grilled cheese? <sighs> I'm, I'm just going to survive. 
I'm Thanks sorry. You're, you're right. You're right. You're right. They do look really adorable together. I know. Sixth place on beam. Sixth place. Yes. Got a ribbon. I'm impressed. Everybody That's gets great. a ribbon. <laughs> Aw. It's Jane Fonda and Robert Redford. Ah, good reference. All right, wait to cool down. You just saw me take it off the burning stove. If you're gonna be a lawyer, you gotta understand negligence and breach and McDonald's versus that lady's habeas corpus. Use none of those terms properly. <laughs> How do you know? You're not a lawyer yet. It's not too late to choose a more noble profession. Oh, like you? You're right. Let's take with it. I'm gonna need a lawyer at some point. I don't even know if I want to be a lawyer. What is he doing? Stocks? Stocks investor? Wall Street? I cannot believe I just said that out loud. <laughs> she don't want to even be a lawyer, huh? I don't blame her. Why do you have a giant wrench? My mom gave me that. She said, no matter how broken something is, there's always a way to fix it. Oh, no. Like their love. I don't know why I'm talking <laughs> to you about my mom right now. Oh, it's way to your heart. Hey. <laughs> He's got superhero chin. He probably uses alpha jaw from Instagram. He does <laughs> not use alpha jaw. <laughs> he uses TheraFace. They didn't oh. sleep together? I mean, they did. I mean. But I know what you meant. There are no Greg and Olivia. <laughs> I know, you sleep in the other bedroom. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Doghouse 24-7. <laughs> oh, no. Maybe they did. I mean, they cuddle together all night. Why is she trying to, like, run away? <sighs> He's probably holding in a fart all night. I feel you, man. You don't hold in your farts Nah, that's first day. <laughs> <laughs> you did your first day. She is clumsy. She's sneaking out. I guess so. Not cool, man. What's your attachment problem after such a great day and night? Holly, I don't know. This guy is f***ing great. Why'd you sneak out then? I know, right? He's going to misunderstand this. <laughs> no way. You cooked? He asked me out, and then I kind of asked him out, and then we just walked around the city and... Well, you asked him out, honey. I don't. I left before he could wake up. I don't know why. Why, why did I? Yeah, why did you? What the fuck am I doing? Yeah, what the fuck? Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you got cheese and bread. You didn't miss one ingredient. <laughs> you told her about your mom, bro. You don't tell nobody about your mom. Dog, you in love, man. Is this his token black friend? Yeah. Every rom-com usually has one. Love that. Uh -uh. I couldn't get her out of here fast enough. Oh, no. No, what are you saying? Oh, no. She's a nothing. What are you saying? Oh, he was just trying to save face because he thought she abandoned him. Wow, the coloring is stunning here. There's much to do with it. Oh, yeah, I heard this was, like, based on a Shakespeare, Shakespeare thing. Shakespeare play. Romeo and Juliet? Hamlet? <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's why communication is so important. Yeah. This video is sponsored by Babbel. Claudia. Holly. Alexander Ship. Holly, my new girlfriend. I like your friend a whole bunch, and if she wants to put a label on me, then she can sew it on wherever she wants. That was weird. Okay. That was weird. I'm, I'm not into S&M or anything. Uh, weirder. Well, she really likes you, too, and that is very rare for her. Oh, look who's talking. I think she's a very underrated actress. Who is she? Alexander Ship. Don't know her. Meet my sister. This is, um... Sister... This is Ben. We all grew up together. Oh, snap, crackle pop. You two know each other? Obviously. Doors that way if you're looking to sneak out. Well, I am a disaster. <laughs> Let's go away from this. Oh my <laughs> god, they could have nipped this in the butt in one conversation. I know. <laughs> I think that's the jerk who B got with when she was on her break from Jonathan. So B's the coffee girl who ghosted him? I thought she looked familiar, but I don't see faces. I just see soul. Wait, when did he ever see her? <laughs> I'm engaged now. Good for you. Where are you registered? I'll buy you a broomstick. <laughs> you still live at 28 Boy Lane? <laughs> the night I spent with a bitch. Did she just call him a bitch? You can hear that? I know. I'm going to get a drink and toast to never seeing you again. Cheers to that, bro. Wow, a miscommunication, huh? Before I pronounce this newlywed couple, if anyone has an issue with these two wonderful people joining together in holy matrimony, speak now or forever hold your peace. Yay. I have an objection. Leo. Oh, Thermal Mulroney. There's no way I can bless this union. Oh, my God. Without their friends and family joining us to celebrate in Australia. <laughs> we thought he was a homophobic. I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'd be so pissed if my friends did a destination wedding in Australia. All the money I'd have to spend on them. I mean, these guys look like they're well to do. True. Good point. How long is the flight? 69. I wonder who's going to be on this flight. I'm curious. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, her. <laughs> B. But why did she leave? I mean, she was scared of commitment. He seems like he's a little scared, too, I to get her. I think she's used they're, to they're just sneaking out. They're trying to protect themselves. Hey, head of the wedding. Of my sister, yes, I am. So where's your fiance? 
Wait, is this him? Hey, I'm Ben. I was her hall pass <laughs> on your break. <laughs> <gasps> I was her hall pass. I forgot. Claude told me you dumped him. Did you sneak out on your wedding day? Oh! Wow, you are a child. It's a pretty long flight. Do you want anything from the front of the boat? Hot cookie, eye mask, pajamas, last 10 years of your life. <gasps> oh my god. I'm all good on creatine and smell like insecurity. <laughs> Nothing small about me. What the? <laughs> Wow, he's gotten so rude. She's rude too. He's ruder. I know, but when you get to that soft side in him, you need this rude side so that way you're really attracted to who he really is, you know? That rude man. So attractive. Thank you so much for joining me today on Hidden Brain. What psychology can teach us? They're listening to a psychology commercial? She is. You listen to Taylor Swift speeches. For inspiration so don't be take his cookie Re yes take that cookie reach over and grab it right now <laughs> something terrible is gonna happen he's gonna wake up what are you doing oh. why'd you why'd you lean over like that <laughs> oh my god girl why are you a mess put the cookie down put that cookie down down down. What? Oh, oh no. my gosh, what are you doing? <laughs> oh no, oh no. <laughs> yep, I would just go right back to bed. How is he not awake at this point? <laughs> what the, what the f Thanks for picking me up, dude. Spelling B! Hey. Our sisters are getting married. How dope is that? I know, I'm so excited. Oh, great. All right, let's hit it. Sis, sis. We'll see you one. Need that to juice up. How did she get out of that situation? We're all staying at the same place. My stepdad's house. Super important for them to keep the wedding party together. Seems like a piece of information that could have been shared a little earlier. Well, that's because they think you guys hate each other, so they didn't want to poke the bear. They really do hate each other. Yeah. I guess it's not token black friend because it would need to be like a group of white friends and then you got the one black friend. Look, it's little hearts. That's very cute. For the, the rom-com hearts. <laughs> yeah. Wow, I wish we had this type of money. <laughs> Work harder. I'm trying. <laughs> Have you guys made up? All We're good. Fine if he just stays away from me. Don't need an invitation for that. I think you do feel like you can't leave me alone. Same reason I slowed down at the car crash. Oh. They hate each other so much. <laughs> for something so small. You guys are going to have to share a room. What? We hung a shower curtain in the middle. Oh, so I just kidding. Oh, God. You're funny. I can't wait any longer. <laughs> This movie just got so much better. Would it piss people off if we slowed down the movie? No, I think they're also slowing it down, Greg. <laughs> Don't be mad at me, but um, Margaret's here. Who's Margaret? We will learn. Margaret! Margaret, look who's what here! What the? Oh! Oh! Just... <laughs> Go rip off the band-aid. I heard this movie was good. No one said it was this good. Yeah. What do you mean? Nothing. You know, everybody thought that you'd be the one getting married first. Um, you always used to talk about your wedding growing up. You would use the toilet paper as a wedding dress when I just used it to dress like a mummy. Oh. I'm free now. I'm deprogrammed. But that does not mean I don't support sure. you and your misguided view. That's, <laughs> that's sweet. Is that going to be your choice? This really is like a modern day rom-com. Yeah. Feels like forever ago. We were babies. I'm really happy you're here. We can reconnect as maybe not babies. I would love that. What's with that top, though? It's a good top. Ben, this is my partner, Bo. Hey, mate. Tennis partner? Yeah. Well, sometimes after. <laughs> you do tennis after. We had a bit of a go back when, didn't we? Did you now? Good on ya. <laughs> good on ya. <you. laughs> Australian people are weird. I mean, they just both felt so hurt, but they didn't want to acknowledge it. That's what they really feel. She, did you notice that? She withdrew from her classes. <gasps> Wow, you did it on this trip. How's our future lawyer? Great. Great. What a perfect question. 
<laughs> right at that <laughs> moment. I'm doing great. My big sister's getting married. Could have been you. Oh, oh no. Have you heard from Jonathan? Did he call or anything? Well, that didn't take long. We're just torn up that he's not part of our family. Oh! <laughs> I'm like 11 years old. So he was cute. basically family. Oh! He was about to be actual family. Oh. <laughs> he's so determined for her to get married. To him, that one Jonathan guy. He's such a great guy. Just think on it, yeah? Oh, no! <laughs> Girl, you're handling this way better than I would. I love watching good looking people fall in love. It's my favorite thing. I know. I mean, he looks like a rock, but. More like his abs are rocks. And you lot, our extended family, so we're just over the moon to have a full house before the wedding on the. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nice touch. We're just so grateful, not only for your incredible hospitality, but for bringing into the world your beautiful daughter. So, as they say in our country, abondanza. Huh? Smart American. Now, baby. Oh! Wow, what an unnecessary amount of money. I wish I was them. I think even if we had that amount of money, we'd be like, not that. Not, 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 not worth it. Let's get oh, McDonald's. I don't <laughs> Okay, so I think I figured out the rest of the plot of this movie. I have to. Yeah. <laughs> I know exactly what's happening. All right, everyone. So sage is meant to cleanse negative energy. We should have done this at our wedding. I am not looking at anybody in particular, but I am looking at you, B, and you, Ben. Why would you call them out like that? You got look out. Sign of the times. Got it. All right, all right. Four words. Four words. First word, the mm -hmm. A of if. Animosity. <laughs> Five words. No, just shut up. <laughs> woman, a woman who uses her sexuality to take advantage of other people. <laughs> <laughs> Old cat woman. Old cat woman. <laughs> Your ego. Your ego. What is this? Wait, no props. Oh, who cares? No one can see us. Oh, a cheater. Shocking. Says the woman who cheated on her fiance. <gasps> Uh, what is the thing I'm holding in my hand? Firework! Firework by Katy Perry. Hey. That is not fair. Hey, what? You're not fair. What's wrong with you? No, guys. What is that? Oh, oh God. Oh, no. What? Oh, it's on fire. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh, no! No, why did he kick us? What is she doing? Why is she what doing is this by herself? This right. is she not did working. It. She put it all out. Sorry. How did that work? It doesn't matter. It's called movie magic. Those two quads are going to destroy our weekend and our memories, which we are going to have for a very long time, are headed straight over a cliff. Yeah, it's fine. You get over it eventually. <laughs> we return them to the night they were smitten. Like we tricked them into falling in love with each other? <laughs> well, the piano music is playing. <laughs> Bait the hook well, the fish will bite. Is that from Shakespeare? Oh, my man. Hey, his shirt's off. Yeah, let's see it. <laughs> Must be doing like Krav Maga. Oh, what a cute dog. It has like a lot of the same tropes and beats of every kind of like rom-com, but yeah. it really feels like the 2023 version, mm -hmm. <laughs> which I like. I want it to be just that. This guy is something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the doofus good looking guys. I know he's supposed to be like the hunky free spirit. Oh, that food, I mean. Greg. <laughs> so good. <laughs> I'm hungry. She clearly has eyes for Ben. Who does, father? Hallie Spence, the sister. Who does, father? The plump chested one with the sad eye. You can't say that. Bill. <laughs> <laughs> that, that was rude. I apologize to anyone that was listening. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Because you're the only person that was listening. <laughs> Do you know B's been in love with Ben since the first night they met? Well, why didn't she tell him? You know, when I was a young bloke. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Sneak up behind her and I'd cut a lock of her hair and then I'd smack her on the bum. What the hell? Well, I don't know. I'm not good at this. <laughs> I'm not good at But I've talked to her and she says she regrets walking out that morning. Tell me more, son. <laughs> Because you're really good at it, right? You can do it. Why do you put this hat on me? No one can see me. It's a radio play. 
<laughs> to tell him how much she likes him. So he lets his guard down and goes to her. Some Cupid's killed with arrows and some with traps. That was good. I like that. That's good. I just made it up. <laughs> he needs to go to her, drop his drawers, and say, come to Papa. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm from a different generation. <laughs> I'm from a different generation. <laughs> and I'm full of shame. I'm full of shame. The actors in this are so good. Then why is he fighting with her? Well, because he likes her. And I know that. Look at how cute that outfit is. Denying herself because she's got in her head somehow that she'll never love again. They're like the Bene Gesserit from Dune. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's Ben. Oh, oh no. Puffed his chest. I know. I saw it happen. Hey. You. Oh, no. I can't. God, they got to you, too. <laughs> Did you just overhear Holly and Claudia say how much I like you? No, it was Pete and Roger. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to get us together. No way. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe they want us to stop acting like assholes so we don't ruin the biggest event of their lives. There is no us and assholes. There is no us and assholes. Whoa. There's no us and assholes. Yeah, there's not. Why'd you say it? I was just repeating it out loud. I said there is no us. No, you said there is an us. No, I said there is no us. No, I heard us. what you said. Don't lie. I was questioning it. No. Roger left his sunglasses on the sailboat. Do me a favor and swim out and get them. Both of us. Is that really a two-person job? Doesn't seem like it. <laughs> you two. <laughs> just do it anyway. Why would you swim? Who could swim that far? No, there's. this is not believable. Yeah, people would swim that far. There's no way. Look at how far that is. You're gonna drown. Can you not swim? I'm an excellent swimmer. Why are you so out of breath? I'm fine. <laughs> I've been to 295, 300 once. I just don't do cardio. 300 once. Oh my god, you're hot girl fit. I'm not hot girl fit. What does that even mean? <laughs> She's carrying <laughs> him. <laughs> Dude, see? That's way too far for someone to swim. I mean, they looked more athletic. No way. Honey. <gasps> they do not. That is my ex, Jonathan. Oh. I mean, we're just gonna take him back and get him all settled in. I'll see you later. Oh my God. How is he okay with this? You know, maybe we should do it. Just tell everyone we're together. What? It would solve that problem for me and that problem for you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a problem. You clearly want Margaret. <laughs> I know she broke your heart. She sees you're with me. She wants what she can't have. And then bye bye, Crocodile Jack. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way we can convince anyone we actually like each other. You know, I still think about that night we spent together. Shut up. No, I'm serious. <laughs> what a dumbass. <laughs> We're at a wedding a million miles away from home. Come on. <laughs> Who knows what could happen under the cover of a masquerade. Don't fall for it. No matter how it ended, it was still pretty amazing. We'll test to see how far she'll take this. Oh, convincing Ouch. enough? Only for idiots. Let's do it. When you're in the moment, you know, on the receiving end. I mean, harder. it's Sydney Sweeney. <laughs> <laughs> We're coming. We're coming. We're coming. Jinx, you owe me a cup. <laughs> get a little something in your teeth. Oh, wait, wait, get, yeah, you get yeah, it. let get me it. do it. Oh, uh, no. I'm so glad you're here. Hi. I'm so happy for you too. Hey, congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Uh, it's great to see you. It's great to see you too. Uh, we're all going on a hike, so whoever wants to come with, we gotta move out. No, this is effing awkward. Meet Jonathan. Oh, hey, man. I'm Ben. Hey, oh, Pete and Claudia's friend, right? Yeah. yeah. And also. Also friends with B, oh. among other things. Don't do it. No. <laughs> what was the tongue thing that he did? Yeah. It's nice I can't. To meet you. Okay, plenty of enough time in the car <laughs> oh to do whatever. Not. Well, no, he did. <laughs> oh my her. God! <laughs> with her parents right there. We need to come I'd up with kill myself. Yeah, you are so terrible at this. What? what? She's terrible at it. What were you just doing? <laughs> I could also see the Shakespeare comedy actually in a lot of ways too. I took some writing classes. Did you graduate? No. I totally forgot to tell you, but I'm with Ben. <laughs> uh, do you want to come? I think I'm gonna hang back and yell at your parents. Oh, how humiliating for him. Why is he walking like that, though? I mean, He's that's like, his stride. It's to keep it cool. Oh, I got it. What if we ran into each other at Chipotle, Lady in the Tramp, the burrito? But no. <laughs> <laughs> but a burrito from Chipotle. <laughs> we need to do something that's more hidden so it feels more real, not some boy wedding hookup. You keep calling me a boy like it's an insult. I own that shit. Mm. Oh, 
See, I thought it was going to be good. Man, that's nice. Dang, that's beautiful. Is he wearing an Ash Ketchum hat? This is Whoa, just guys. so romantic. Okay. Nuzzle my neck. Nuzzle my neck? You are not tall enough to say that. You are not tall <laughs> enough to say that. <laughs> beg me. Beg me to stop being such Stop. <laughs> Permission to put my left hand on your right buttock. Granted. <clears throat> Too hard. Sorry. <laughs> they really are great together. Oh, is this koala gonna die? Oh god, we should have looked this up yeah. beforehand. Okay, just mind the gap. How's that? That's good. Just like, but you don't have to hover, just kind of. Oh man, the woods. I'm sorry. What just happened? I don't know what they're doing. What just happened? What do people do? What do Why single is people her hand? You try. What do single people do now? She said, you try? <laughs> Oh, on you. Oh, okay. Why is her hand down there? Why are their hands down their pants? I guess this is what people do now. God damn it. Were they not watching this whole time? They're all watching the koala? A mole or something, anybody? No. Really? Because I feel something. I don't have a mole. Ah! The ah! Fuck? No! What the? Oh, no! What the? This movie just got a lot better. Spiders on pants! <laughs> They hunt bears! They hunt bears! <laughs> 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 well, I can't hear them. I think I see something. What do you see? What do you see? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no, that's just a part of you. You're fine. Hey, look, if I have one of those little f to me, they might be in you. Whoa, no way. It's probably a better way to check than what I did. <laughs> 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 We do not inherit the earth. We just borrow it from our creatures. <gasps> he winked. What did we miss? <laughs> <laughs> their, their rhythm and the way they play off each other is, is amazing. Next family dinner, I'm sticking my hand <laughs> down your ass. You mind doing it again? This time I'm going to shout out a trivia question. I think it's just going to help clear your mind. Just make sure it's a question about airplanes or the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. That, that's a great topic of conversation. What company created the Concorde? <laughs> Collaboration between British Airways and the French government. How'd I do? <laughs> Get in there. It's paddling a dog. Maybe your mom can teach him how to dive. Well, she, she passed away. I'm so sorry. Yeah, sorry. Ah, trauma bond. Let's go. What trauma does she have? Her parents I mean, are alive. I mean, not trauma, but you let them in on the trauma, and then bam, boom. That's not trauma bonding. I had to tell her I love her. When you know she's the one, nothing else matters. Mm. I would love to go diving with Glenn Powell. He does uh, Pilates. He looks like it. <laughs> uh, are you two really uh, getting to know each other in a very respectful manner, one befitting such a kind and intelligent woman as your daughter? <laughs> Our love is just so strong. And I know what you guys are thinking. That he's much older. They weren't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 27, early 28s. <laughs> How old is he in real life? We'll look it up. Oh, God, I'm scared. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't. No, I didn't. That guy's made out of cobblestone. Dog. <laughs> like, the way they all, like, whisper and congregate together reminds me of, like, the Shakespeare elements. I can't believe these dumbasses were so easily fooled. I can't believe they were so easily fooled, they said. Was that bullshit about your mom? What? That's mean. The giant wrench. Thought it might have been a line you tell all your one night nothings. That's really rude. You ever heard that too? Like, I didn't mean, I'm sorry. Oh. Thanks for being so nice to my dad. Oh no. Don't give in to the act. Does he shave his body hair? No, he's got hair. It looks like it's growing back. Maybe he snips it? Okay. Oh! Oh! What do you reckon, eh? How you finding it? I know, it's, it's great. My ass goes on about you all the time. A ripper she calls you. Whoa. Yeah, you know you had a proper surf when sand gets all up your clacker. What is this movie with bums? You know, your hog bonnet. You know, your beef cap. What are you saying? You know, the anteater. Oh! Oh, whoa. my <laughs> gosh! The second he said anteater, I knew what else was going to happen. Hey, mate. Uh-oh. Fancy a game? You're going down. No, no. This is not what you really want. I don't know. He's cute. How long have you and that guy Ben been... It's... Kind of new. Well, I think he seems great. No, you don't. I really don't. See, they're cute together, too. But why'd they break up? Oh, no, he's going to see it. Go talk to that Australian girl. Yeah, that Maz, Margaret. 
You want a coffee? It's the best in the world. You guys are really proud of your coffee here. It's the best in the f***ing world. That is good. Oh man, now we gotta go to Australia just for coffee, Greg. Why did me and you ever break up anyway? I don't really remember, but I think you said something like I was an immature drongo smothered in X body spray. It smells like you're not that guy anymore. Oh! Wow, she's very direct. I know. Margaret needs to think we're the right type of together. Not together together, but like situationally together. Because if she thinks we're together together, she's not gonna break girl code. She seems like she would break girl code. She 100% would break girl code. Are you on coke? Oh, <laughs> coffee here, it's like meth. We need Australian coffee. Someone send us some Australian coffee. Tonight's the rehearsal dinner, so we have to do something that makes it look like you're into me, but you're not into me. And I'm into you, but you can tell by my face that it's never gonna mount. Get it together, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the look. Oh, she actually is beautiful. I didn't realize. I didn't realize that she, she really is beautiful. Stunning. <laughs> <laughs> he opened the door for Margaret, but not her. Oh, she jumped in the car. No, I think she jumped in the car, so B couldn't. Thank you. She's smart. She's got very long legs, too. Just like Gal Gadot from very far away. You're right. You're correct. And nothing's hotter than looking like a hot celebrity. Oh, that is cute. Nice touch. Nice dress. That was pretty Fill your mouth. <laughs> oh, Assume thy part in some disguise. I don't think he's very tall. I like that this movie like goes to be a little sexy, you know, as versus like most. I, mean, I think of romantic comedies. I never think of that, <laughs> but they actually go for that here. They embrace a little bit more of the sexual. They embrace more sexuality. Three scotches neat and a champagne for the lady. Oops. You remember that you can't handle hard liquor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Smell's still not out of my car. You know, I feel really bad about that. <laughs> this is the second I wouldn't believe the relationship, because if I'm B, strangling that bitch. I know. Oh, how interesting. Oh, hey, look, is that Tasmania? No, honey, that's, uh, yes. Hey, are we exiting the conversation? Jonathan is just the most perfect guy. He's like a son to us. Well, that might be a problem, mate. B might not want to shag a brother. It took me a second to understand what <laughs> oh, like, you just got. It's got a slow. Like, what does that mean? No one's really dislikable here. No, everyone's got a distinct personality, and Australian guy's the most cartoony, but he's not like too cartoony where it pulls you out. Parents, back off a little. How about you? Game on. Can you even dance? You just let me. He's leave. got. Oh God. Oh my god, here time to really Oh, she's seduce. taking her hair down. The more they get into the game, the further they fall. He's got like Matthew McConaughey's voice without the southern accent. He is Matthew McConaughey. See, I get more of the the sexual relationship between them than like a romantic one. Well, they are like unusually sexual around family. <laughs> I cannot be this way. Around. Like, you guys are awfully sexually comfortable around family. Is Margaret watching? It's a little hard to tell with bitch Hemsworth in my way. How much? So, what are we doing? Closing the deal. Titanic? Of course. Titanic me. Oh my god, they're actually doing a Titanic thing? <laughs> that is so lame. Exactly. The only people who would do something this lame are the ones who know how lame it is, but are in the first stages of liking each other, so they're totally comfortable in their mutual lameness. Mutual lameness. I feel like the screenwriter feels like she's Sydney Sweeney. Yeah. If it is written by a woman. Lift my arms. I've seen the movie. Have you? Okay. Okay. Yeah, this is... A it's the cutest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> it's real. We did it. We're good. We're really bloody good. <laughs> She's gonna stay. Oh, there you go. Oh. Jack, I'm flying. Okay, we can stop there. Oh, that seems so sincere. Oh, the brunettes together, the blondes together. They seem like they're going a little too far. They're gone. Show's over. Because he wants to get Margaret back. Oh what have you Ooh. done? She could get caught under the boat and get killed by the blades. The propeller slice her head right off. No, please, 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 please. But he can barely swim. She's a better swimmer. How did they not hear her scream and fall overboard? I don't know. When he was screaming about the spider on his butt, no one heard him. That's true. <laughs> the movie's established its rules. When he was running around in circles <laughs> with his clothes off. How did you jump in? Save you. But you're a terrible swimmer. I'm a great swimmer. Just short distances. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna die. We're not gonna die. We're gonna get hypothermia. The water's 90 degrees. We're gonna get eaten by sharks. <laughs> We're gonna get eaten by sharks. 
<laughs> it looks like they're going full Titanic. I love the commitment. Stop the bus. <laughs> what a dumbass. Love the commitment. But he jumped in after her. You wouldn't. She'd be like, I'll call someone. Like, let me uh, think about this. There. Are you sure? Someone's got to take care of the cats. <laughs> <laughs> I can't afford to get sick right now. Got reactions to film tomorrow. Harbor Rescue has been notified. <laughs> Why are they wasting their energy? They're going to the thingy. Oh, yeah. The buoy? Is that what it's called? I was going to call it a buoy, but I questioned myself. I, I'm questioning myself, but I think it's a buoy. A light up buoy. Oh, people must fall in the water all the time. <laughs> They're not too far from, uh, like, they could swim there. That is so far. It's far, but if you needed to survive, you could no. certainly could make that. There's sharks in the water. No, there's not. A hundred percent. That's the ocean. Doesn't mean there's sharks there. Or is it a lake? There's something more romantic than jumping in to save me. Yeah, well, Jonathan didn't do it, that's for sure. Ooh. Why do you break up with him in the first place? It's complicated. It's never complicated. What, he cheated on you? Drug problem? Did you catch him measuring his with the ruler app? <laughs> what? Wait, have you well, done How that? do I download this? <laughs> <laughs> I'll measure it for you. I couldn't even tell him I quit law school. No one else knows? I don't think this is the weekend to drop that bomb. That's fair. It's gonna come out, I'm assuming. You know, one night you said you didn't want to be a lawyer anyways. You remember? Do you remember that? No. Yeah, I'm, I'm on your side. Did you read the Shakespeare play about this? <laughs> it was a memorable night. Until you snuck out, of course. Why did you? Because you scared the shit out of me. She was in love. It was the first time in my life that I felt fire and I had to blow it out. Wow, what a line. That is a line. I was really hurt when you left. See? So I said all that terrible stuff about you to Pete. It's not how I felt. Communication. I hope this movie's three hours. God, I hope we see him do it. They're so pretty. It's nothing better than watching two pretty people do it. <laughs> Landmarks like those are full of people in love. Marriage proposals, honeymooners, romantics jumping off of the moving trains just to see the building with the person they love. That's not real life, honey. This is a movie magic. You, me, and the opera house. It's a date. These movies make me hate my relationship. Yeah, they make me think I can achieve this, and then I get tired. Like, wait a minute. Greg's not like this at all. Aww. See, now, now we're getting more of the connectivity. They really are great together. They're no Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone, but... Hey, Ryan Gosling has chemistry with every woman. Margot Robbie, <laughs> Emma Stone. <laughs> but he plays the, like, pompous, arrogant, asshole, smug guy with a heart underneath it all. He's got a stone face, real, so it fits him. He's got a traditional Midwestern American face. <laughs> He's got a stone face. He's a stone statue. You know what? Figure the post. I'm going to send it, and your, your subscribers put it up right here. And you tell me, stone face. I'm a little afraid of flying. Do you fly all the time for your job? I have a very specific routine. I'm as headphones filled my bubble. And the song. It's gotta be the song. I am unprepared. <laughs> <laughs> How do you know my serenity song? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. How cute. <laughs> in the distance, so close you can almost. <laughs> Yeah, they're bringing the song back. It's so against type. I always associate this guy as a dude who does aerial shit. Top Gun Maverick, Hidden Figures. Oh, you're right. He's in Hidden he was, Figures? He was in that movie with Jonathan Majors. The Coretta Scott King one? No. No, no, it was like a flight movie. <laughs> that was so cute. It came back. Everything's tied together. I love scenes like that. Give me more. <laughs> Want some coffee? Not the stuff from here. I'll be up all night. God, their, her makeup's still very... Looks all right. They look so polished. I know. <gasps> the grilled cheese? They're making grilled cheese together. Oh, but then the, but then the original plan's going to pay off, and it's going to threaten this. No, 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 it's hot. When are you ever going to learn? Like, you want me to blow on it? Oh, they're so cute. Mm. Oh, they're together in real life. Is he married? She's engaged to some other oh, Whatever. End it. Is it still hot? <laughs> Oh, you talking about talking about your love? About the flames between you two? I think that's what he's talking about. I think it's like a double entendre. Did I say that word right? <sighs> oh, finally. You never know what could happen under the masquerade. It's no Bridgerton, but it's still pretty good. It's no you've got mail. Wow, anyone could just walk out. Okay. Good transition. With their clothes on? I mean, their clothes are soaked. 
Why wouldn't they take their clothes off? They're taking them off right now. But they could have done it before. I'm getting pretty good at faking it. <laughs> I don't even know what's real anymore. Everything I do just feels like a mistake. Oh! You guys learned about communication. Yeah, why did she say that? Oh, now he's sneaking away. Don't blame him. That was kind of rude what she said. Oh, well, this is good. This has to suffer anyone but you two if the movie just ends right now. I don't think it's going to end right now. It's going to end right now. Then we get anyone but you two. What's the, what's the title of the sequel? Anyone and you. Anyone but with a double T. <laughs> it's a good soundtrack. All rom coms have really solid soundtracks, usually. Do you do these workouts outside? I will now. Why are they sleeping on the cheap bed? Forgot there was a whole wedding. Man, I hope you scrub from top to bottom, because who knows what was in that harbor. I also showered last night. Two showers in eight hours? I take two showers a day normally. <laughs> I love showers. I know. Our water bill says we use more water than the average people in our neighborhood. <laughs> so excited to marry Claudia. But, you know, I'm also hosting a party where it feels like we're all playing parts in a play. And I'm not really into the pageantry. <gasps> and I kind of just want to do a little... Who is this relaxed on their wedding day? No normal... Gay movie. people? <laughs> Hey, you're still good to get the cake, right? Yes, ma'am. Awesome. I put Margaret on it with you just to be safe. <gasps> All right, talk to me, baby. Who's it going to be, Margaret or B? This is clearly filmed during Pride Month, I think. I know what you're doing. I know what you've all been doing. You set us up and we went along with it, but it's fake. What? That's foul, dog. It's definitely got to be B, man. I don't know, man. I don't know. She doesn't know what she wants. So she's single for basically the first time in her life. She just quit law school or... <gasps> Why did you tell... Why did you tell him that? He doesn't care. It doesn't matter. He could go They're tell everybody friends. else. He won't. Greg, why did you He's confiding. say that? He doesn't need to confide in her secrets. Oh, tisk tisk tisk. They're going to love it. Thank you so much. Let me get these boxed up for you. Thank, Thank you. you. Oh, gosh. So you and Ben on Siri? We're, we're just situationally together. Is that an American thing? I don't even know. <laughs> situationally. <laughs> so you're right if I have a go at him then? Ooh. If that's not okay, just tell me. I know he really likes you. Oh, wow. So weird. How do you think I should play this with Ben? Should I wait until after the wedding? Um. Why are you asking for advice? Because this is just, she's posing as just situational. You quit school? You're just gonna pour gasoline on everything you've worked for? Is there still time to re-enroll? Soon as you broke up with Jonathan, everything turned to pot. Are you on drugs? Because at least then I'd understand. <laughs> the fox. Is this to get back at us? I'm sorry if we pushed you to succeed your whole life. We're such awful parents. <laughs> No, we're not going to let you throw away your life because you're going through something. Everyone is always going through something. It's called life. Oh, every parent does this. It's so obnoxious. I can't believe you. You told him I quit school? No, I didn't. We told Pete. Pete told us. Oh, my God. You were right. <laughs> you're real shit. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. There's a reason why you're alone. No one can trust you. Whoa. Yeah, what's your reason? Guys like you. Keep telling yourself that. Oh, no. All is lost moment. Guys, I am so sorry, but your plan is all ruined. We are not together. We are faking it the whole time. Wow. And did he have flowers for her? Do you think that he did? Yeah. You're not together? I could never be with someone like him. Ooh. Yeah, because I'm the one who f***ed it up. You did f*** it up. I f***ed it up? Yeah, you f***ed it up. Oh, no. Oh, no. I am so sorry. Dude, that's not their fault. Yeah, no, they didn't do anything. Oh no, that's not gonna be fun. It's not gonna be fine, you guys. Let's just uh She walked away from the cake too. More miscommunication, man, huh? This is what happens with your characters right before they get to the finale, babe. The save the cat moment. No, it's not the save the cat the moment. The cat's in the tree, they gotta get it down. No, no, it's, it's when you it's the when cat they moment. start to seem like they're reverting back to who they were in the first act. The cat's coming down from the tree. But now they're uh I was just thinking, I was like, I feel like nothing's been happening with the, the married couple. Well, if that's how you feel, then why are we even doing this? Oh, there we go. Maybe they're just faking that so he can be eavesdropping. Could I? Yeah. Oh, you might be right. There's one last thing we need to fake. It's an action movie. We're really sorry. I'm a terrible sister, and he's a terrible friend. It's your guys' big day. We're not going to mess it up, we promise. Uh-huh. But just so you both know, if you fuck up today, the something I borrowed is a knife, and it's shiny and new. <laughs> They didn't do anything wrong there, though. I mean, the, I mean, he been, messed up big time. But they've been making the wedding so much of it has been, been so much about their tension. Yeah. 
Well, maybe they should be uninvited. That's what I would have done. Oh, no. Your hair's going to get messed up like this. Mm-mm. No. This is not well planned. No. Those flowers could be flying out right now. Oh, uh, sp- this movie's surprisingly shot in a very beautiful way. That's what I was saying earlier. Yeah, you're talking about the colors, and I think there's like really great symmetry with the shots. It seems like they really wanted to capture. Oh my their god, location. is there something in my eye? No. Oh god, it hurts. Love is intoxicating. It envelops you. It tickles you. It's almost an advertisement for for Australia. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Didn't they actually film there? Yeah. Nah, I think this is Beverly Hills. You can't look for it, you can't describe it, and you can't escape it. Oh, Bridgerton moment. I love you so much, and I will love you forever and all. Claudia, I love you with so much of my heart. Oh. That none is left to protest. That's very good. Just made it up. A lot of it. I can't believe this dog is named after a panic attack medication. Maybe it's a service dog. I don't think so, considering he jumped up and ripped that thing. Married! <laughs> How cute. <laughs> now you can see what a reception should look like. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> How are you doing, honey? I am so sorry I lied to you guys about school. Well, if you just told us, maybe we could have... Try to talk me out of it? No, maybe we could have supported you. You could still support her. She's got perfectly white teeth. I know that every now and then we might come off as a little controlling. No. Overbearing? No. Asha crazy? Yeah. Yes. Have <laughs> <laughs> smile. Yeah. But only because we love you so much. Yay! Yeah. 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 I thought Dermot Mulroney just does whatever he wants now. Oh, I don't know who this person is. Every you time know. he shows up in anything we watch, you say, I don't know who he is. Every time. I've and never we, seen this man before. We in literally life. watched the Hallmark movie on the train. And I was like, is there a moment like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> he was not in that movie. He was the guy on the train. No, he was not. Why did you still him? Not at all. Go ahead. She just like went to the girl, like, matter if I have a goat, I'm like, right away. It's so weird. I know. Australian people are weird. Hi. But she got permission, so we can't hate her. It's true. Where's Bo? He buggered off. He buggered off. It was never really anything, and you and B. She said you were just situational. Ooh. She said that? She's told everyone that y'all weren't really together. Oh my god. It's your guys' wedding. It's about all about her. this one woman. <laughs> yeah. Are you good? Yeah, we know it's been a tough weekend for you. <laughs> oh my gosh. They are so, like, the nicest people after all the shit that they pulled. Why don't you just go for a walk? <laughs> Save your head. Yeah, we'll go with you. No, we won't. I love you, but this is our wedding. Thank you. <laughs> I wanted this for so long, but I think I'm just holding on to a memory. Ooh. And also, I, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. That is painful, embarrassing, humiliating. Wow. She really went for a walk. I know. In those hills, too? How? She's like, I'm going to leave the cliff and go to the streets. Do you think that there's <laughs> some blurring effect on her face right now? To make her look better? Just to make it look like a dreamlike state. You were the one who said there's a thin line between love and hate. You're always the first person to say that, but yeah. I know it sounds crazy, but even when they were yapping at each other, I've never seen B happier. How do they not see him right there? They're still talking about her. <laughs> ha ha ha. You're so clever. You know who's also clever? Ben, you know who else would be perfect for Ben? That mumbly girl who always looks like she's got a secret. You know her name is B. That was a callback. It's a callback. <laughs> Stop. Oh, how you going, mate? How you going, Ben? They're so funny. What? Just enough with the loud talking and the overhearing. Just stop. Bro, we literally didn't know you were standing there. Yeah, it's true. There. We didn't know you were listening. We did. Squarely a performance for one. <laughs> This entire weekend, I've been lied to and manipulated and puppeteered. And you lied and manipulated. I don't know what is real and what is not. Mate, I know you're a little blurry. Is this Michael Keaton? No. Michael Keaton. <laughs> she, uh... She went on a walk a while ago after she saw you kissing Margaret. No, I didn't kiss Margaret. I don't want to yeah, be with Margaret. Stop I wanna... it. Run. Don't wait on love. And don't worry about the age difference. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 29. <laughs> Honey. No one's 29. <laughs> no one's 29. I think I know where she might be. Then good God, man, go get her. Scour the city block by block. <laughs> I know exactly where she is. Oh, well, that makes it a lot easier. <laughs> no, he would have died. 
Nose to toes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Cause this would go over real well with the government of Australia to use what is this harbor rescue as a Coast taxi? Coast I need to ask a favor. Yeah, no, this would not go over well. You mean to tell me there are leaps and bounds you gotta make in terms of logic for a romantic comedy? Will you make me the happy man? Oh. There's so much love happening right here. It's like a. Um, Famous building that thing is. Why don't you just pick people up by phone? Just go get the girl. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just pick people up by phone? I couldn't find a moving train. Sorry, it's the best I could do. Are you out of your mind? Yeah, because it's been two years since we met and I haven't spent every single day with you. That's the sign of a crazy person. Interesting. I just hear that echo. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, ADR. <laughs> I hated you. I didn't really give you a choice. I definitely didn't hate you, even though you called me a bitch. I said you were acting like a bitch. No, I was a bitch. The way I handled everything. The way I handled the first night, the way I handled last night. That ADR. <laughs> what is ADR? It means that they're recording a booth for pickup lines. Oh, really? I thought you were going to regret it, and I couldn't face the idea of losing someone else that I, I really loved. Loved. I know. Last night was the first thing I haven't regretted in a long time. Aww. I love the way we fight. You won't eventually, but it works for this. I love the weird way you stick your hands down my pants. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and if it's not me, if I don't check all your boxes, if I'm not the one, I get it. That would really, really f suck. It's, it's a hard R, yeah. So you're going to kiss me now? Oh, call back. Call back. <laughs> I am. Did you get it? Yeah. I mean, they just did it like yesterday. I know. It's a lot of running for Mr. No Cardio. Yeah, I'm dying. <laughs> I need some air. <laughs> I'm glad they paid attention to that. It's like a Michael Bay movie. Yeah. <laughs> Explosion. <to laughs> yeah, it's the camera one stop move. They've just been making out this. So they walked back, making it out the whole time. Robots fighting in the background. <laughs> Can't read my mind. I'm undefined. I hope she's getting money from this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Musical number. I love that they're in the middle and not the married how, couple. I love it. It's only the main wedding pe part of people here. How do they know my Serenity song? It's a really popular song. I'm like, it's <laughs> a very famous song. Ambition. Feel the rain on, on your skin. skin. No one else can do it for you. Only you can. <laughs> <laughs> Where your book begins, the rest is. A stadium kit! Oh, it's so <laughs> classic rom com. Much ado about nothing. The dirty window, let the sun. Sydney Sweeney was executive producer. Oh, wow, she's getting money. Something yeah, sing to that koala. So that is the most peaceful koala I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> that was so funny. <laughs> I'm sorry you almost called off your wedding because of all of our bullshit. What? 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 I saw you arguing on the porch. Oh, no, no, no. We staged a fake fight so you guys would feel bad and make up. I called it! <laughs> Are you marrying your precious itinerary or me? Well, if that's how you feel, I don't know why we're doing this anymore. Thank you very much. Puppets. Staring. <laughs> Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm so happy they did this. She's, she's pretending to reach up. Who are you, lady? <laughs> That's when they hated each other. I know. Was that an impromptu kiss? Now play Lose Yourself. <laughs> Love spaghetti! <laughs> Hey, Dermot Mulroney's in this. Yes, he is. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Let's talk about it. 
In the midst of movie and TV show reactions, Lena's such a busy schedule around here. Who's got time to prep gourmet meals? Well, that's where Factor steps in. Factor is a game changer, delivering chef crafted, dietitian approved meals right to your door. It's not just about dinner, they've got your whole day covered with snacks, smoothies, and more. Whether you're into keto, vegan, pescatarian like myself, or just looking for something delicious and healthy, Factor has a variety of meals ready in two minutes flat. Imagine the luxury of gourmet meals without the hassle of prep or cleanup. It's like your personal chef making it easier to eat well amid our busy lives and the best part factors flexible to fit any schedule pick from 6 to 18 meals weekly adjusting or pausing anytime life gets in the way it's about making your life easier giving you control and convenience without compromising on quality with factors gourmet plus even my hectic days get a gourmet touch no more grocery runs, just pure deliciousness. So you ready to elevate your food game reject nation? Jump into factor75.com or click below with Real Rejects 50. You're in for a 50% off treat on your first box. Supporting them helps support the channel, but also supporting your health and time. Dive into the gourmet life, people. Well, 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 reject nation. We just watched anyone but you. Thank you to our sponsor for this video. And if you're listening to us on Apple and Spotify, please rate this video here with Olivia. Well, what did you think? I really liked it. I thought it was very cute. It's very corny, but that's what I expect out of a rom-com. Yeah. So it doesn't bother me here. Um, it doesn't take itself too seriously. Yeah, I really enjoyed both of their chemistry together. I think they both bounced off each other really well. I liked all of the supporting cast. There's not a dislikable character in the in the movie. No, they're all likable. Yeah. I am a I'm I I'm a very easy audience member to please when it comes to rom coms. Yeah, me too. Well, I've seen so many throwaway rom coms. Well wait, what's your favorite rom com? Of all time. I'd probably say Notting Hill. I've never seen Notting Hill. Oh, I love that movie. Really? Yeah. How fascinating. I've never seen Notting Hill. I guess I'd say you've got mail. That is technically a remake of one of my favorite. Romances. I know you love that one. Yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite rom romantic comedy? Uh, my man Godfrey. Okay. You know that one? You showed it to me. What's it about, Greg? You know, it's black and white. <laughs> <laughs> is that one with Clark Gable? No, but that's another great one. What happened one night? My man Godfrey. Yeah, where he. Uh, it's Carol Lombard and William Powell. He's the butler. Well, he's the rich man who pretends to be a butler. You didn't show me that movie. Yes, I 100% did. I don't think you did. 100%. Oh, it must have been my other husband that I've had. The, the other person I've dated seven and a half years ago. The butler? Yeah. I don't remember this. 100%. If you pull it up right now, you'll be like, oh, yeah. If you look at the title screen, you'll be like, oh, yeah, I remember that. Okay. I'll look it up. The keyboard's far away. Well, you're going to have to look up how old Cindy Sweeney is anyway, because I'm curious. Okay. Well, yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. We'll look at <laughs> some fun facts, too. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's like I've seen so many romantic comedies that are also like considered terrible, like Couples Retreat. Uh, yeah, just movies that. And it, I don't watch bad movies. Like Vince Vaughn was doing quite a few of them at a point, certain point. And I, I st the breakup is good, though. Is that considered a romantic comedy? I don't think so. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> they don't end up together in the end. <laughs> but, Spoiler alert. But I, I think there is really, is, I mean, so easily charmed by them. I can tell ones that are like flatter than others, and you see all the tropes and whatever it, like they don't it doesn't matter to me it is like such an easy mm -hmm. easy path like is it is it cute is it yep. funny do the as long as the leads have reasonable chemistry i'm like bingo that's all you really 100%, need for me 100 percent. and what i enjoyed about this because while i think there could have been a little bit of added extra flair in certain spots to maybe create some like actual like Stakes not in like explosions, but stakes in the sense of like, a, you, sometimes I feel like the best romantic comedies often have like some good dr dr dramatic tension at hold, like right. in terms of like certain sort of hijinks that probably could have played into the wedding a little bit more um, in order to escalate some some stakes here because they, they and, and maybe they could have even enhanced some of the drama about what the characters are kind of overcoming just to feed a little bit more into this modern day millennial romance story that they're telling right uh but really the things i showed up for i'm like yeah it's excellent it's, it's actually like an excellent um romantic comedy the 
while predictable and whatever, who cares? Uh, Sydney Sweeney and Glenn Powell, I, I can totally see why people have been t- raving so much about them because uh, they play their archetypes very, very well. And their chemistry is really dynamite. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're because there's so much bantering between them that at times it doesn't sound like, I'm like, okay, was this part improvised? <laughs> is this part of the like, certain quips that they have yeah. with each other? And then when they are falling in love and everything, like the, the, the whole goal with it was to, they have to seem like they're already in love with each other, even while they're fighting. And I, and I feel like that kind of shows through even through their sexual chemistry. And that was the other part about this that I, I thought was a little surprising was, oh, I heard it was a bit of a hard R and I wasn't, ex- I was surprised by how it's like, it's got all the sweetness of a romantic comedy but it's a little raunchier, but it's not like so raunchy to the point of, of, of like a Judd Apatow movie, you know, like knocked up or 40 year old virgin. Don't it, watch this. Well, like 40 year old virgin, I consider a romantic comedy. I don't even consider knocked up a romantic comedy. Um, but those are like, I, I don't think w- th- this is the kind of movie that would probably skew more female demographic. Yeah. Whereas oh, I, st- sure. I still feel like for those sure. movies, while I would call them romantic comedies, I'm like they're definitely for like more bros, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and uh, and I and bros, another good romantic yeah, comedy. Well, yeah, well, because but, uh, you've got uh, in those movies, you've got like the unattractive man back in the hot female, unattractive clearly, everyday man, <laughs> clearly <laughs> written by a man movie, yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah, they're fu- they're hilarious, but this uh, but this was one that had the earmarks of of uh, the ones that are more like female demographic romantic driven comedies yeah. that I love, uh, just with a, a bit of a raunchier touch to it with a really updated millennial fl- uh, well, millennial touches with everything they're, they're uh, commentating on and modern day dating relationship stuff. So I, I thought it was like a, a destination where it's like the actors are clearly vacationing simultaneously, mm-hmm. you know, uh, it, it was, it, and there's like some good effort to it. And the, you like the wacky parents, but it wasn't annoying. And, and they still feel like they made an attempt to bring something, at least the actors did, uh, bring something different to what otherwise could have just been annoying cartoon characters, you know? Let me tell you the audience you're dealing with here. Um, religiously, during Christmas time, I sit down and I watch almost every single Hallmark Christmas movie that they release. Yeah. I love them. I don't care how campy, how corny, how predictable. I love it. Yeah. There's just something comforting about it. There's something fun to sit and watch this journey that is predictable, but I like knowing how these movies are going to end. I don't want a M. Night Shyamalan twist in my romantic comedy. You know, I want it to be simple. You never know, though. I don't want it. That would be the ultimate twist. I don't want it. (laughs) You'd be like, I never saw a twist coming. (laughs) (laughs) But like, I I don't want that. So this to me worked really well. At the beginning, I started, and I think I mentioned it, I had a little bit of a hard time being like, I don't see the romance aspect of it. It's really raunchy. It's really sexual. I buy their sexual chemistry, but I wasn't buying their romantic chemistry at first. Mm -hmm. But... They solved that for me with the scene in the water where they're on the buoy and whatnot. It was totally believable. Their chemistry is really well together. And yeah, I, I, it was a, it's exactly what I expected this movie to be. And I'm not disappointed at all. You know what cliche route I'm surprised the movie never went down? was Because I, I thought, okay, yeah, he's going to have the whole thing with the ex-girlfriend mm-hmm. of his mm-hmm. being there. Super obvious. Uh the that was the other thing about sexuality I thought was interesting with this film was like they're more sexually comfortable mm. you know it's not as like taboo I mean he stripped his clothes off of like there was no problem when yeah no one's like commenting on like you're naked you mm. know like they're just that comfortable with each other and the 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 ex fiance being there I thought there was gonna be a whole thing with her she's like connecting with him and like who do I and like when when they have their all is lost, like it's not going to work out that she would gravitate towards him. That I thought they were going to do that that romantic trope, or they could have even done the romantic but they trope. Did nothing of the, with him really. Actually, you're just there yeah. ultimately. <laughs> yeah, they could have done the romantic trope where the old fiancés and old girlfriend are like conspiring to like get them apart too, like Margaret. And oh, that could have been something like that. Yeah. Yeah, but it was not that either. It was a very 
girls girl type of movie you know there's no girls backstabbing each other in this movie it's not like there's no malicious intent in any of it it's, dude it's a modern day rom-com it's a modern <laughs> it's day a, rom-com it's a modern day rom-com because yeah in terms of an outline it follows everything <laughs> that yeah. you would expect and and uh but i like the locations and i thought it looked beautiful it was a surprisingly beautiful looking movie stunning the colors are very vivid I with wish like, we could get our TV to look like that. With like a sexy track. Yeah. It's cool, cool track. They definitely did blurring effects at certain points, I could tell. Yeah, no, it was like a music video. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah. was, it was a cool track with a great commitment. I think great physical performance commitment, too. Like, uh, Glenn Powell, I thought he would just be reasonably charming. Because my introduction, like many, for Sydney Sweeney is when you show me Euphoria. Mm-hmm. So I've always associated Sydney Sweeney as a really strong actress because of that show. So whereas Glenn Powell, I've always thought has been a charming guy. I've never really seen him in anything. And it could just be due to my lack of being privy to his filmography. Uh, has been like, wow, he really stands out to me. Or wow, he's really great. He's always just been like, yeah, you're you're good. <laughs> you're yeah. you're you're yeah. passively charming all the time. Besides Top Gun Maverick, I couldn't name a movie he was in. And uh, and then here, I thought he was excellent. I yeah. thought he was so he was really funny. He played all the multiple layers really well to this guy, and his co- comedic timing was great. And he they he bounces off everyone well in any situation. I really thought he was a strong leading man here. Yeah. And um. The Dermot Mulroney, the remember the train movie where the guys remember riding, the train movie. It's not him. That is a hundred percent. Are you messing with me? No, it's not him. It's him. What is the no, train it's the guy movie? The from the OC. No, it's not. Yes, it is. What guy from the, the OC? The dad from the OC. Is Dermot Mulroney the dad in the OC? No, that's the guy on the train movie. Is the OC guy the dad from the OC? The dad from the OC. That that's guy. Peter Gallagher. That was him. No, Peter Gallagher. <laughs> he is, was on the train movie. No, what is the train movie called? It's with Danny Glover. He's the director. Hallmark movie. Danny Glover. <laughs> Dermont Mulroney. I spelled his name totally. The Christmas Train, okay. Dermont Mulroney. They both have eyebrows. Oh, is that what's confusing? They're known for the eyebrows. <laughs> They're, they're known for their bushy eyes. Okay, I guess you're right. If this is is this if this is saying you're correct, I guess I can't argue with it. Yeah, he's funny. He's really funny. Now you can look up how old Sydney Sweeney is. Oh yeah, how old are these guys? How old is Sydney? She's got to be like 27? 26. Oh close. my gosh, she's young. Look at how old Glenn Powell 35. There is an age <laughs> He's difference. He's older than us. <laughs> Damn, he was in Spy Kids 3D. Cool. What other movies? Oh, he's in Scream Queens. Oh, he is. He's Chad. 6 feet. He's in The Dark Knight Rises? Yeah, apparently there's like a scene in The Dark Knight Rises where like Bane, in the bank, when the first, uh, when he when he invades like Wall Street or something mm-hmm. like that, Bane. I, I haven't seen that scene, but it was described to me. Devotion is the other one that he was in. He's in Twisters, Hidden Figures, just things that involve aerial stuff. Even in this movie, he gets up in a helicopter. <laughs> That's his trope. Even the guy who's afraid of heights gets in a helicopter. He's here. really good in Scream Queens. He's hilarious. Okay, yeah. See, I didn't, I, I didn't know that about yeah. his uh, his work here. But I didn't uh, realize it was him. And uh, I, I think. Can you look up uh, Stonehenge? <laughs> I think. In I don't the, know if I'm saying that correctly, but. I think. Stonehenge. Henge. Face. Go face. Don't face. Oh, my face. gosh. I think one thing the movie could have implemented a little bit more face. too. Look at that. Tell me that's not his face. It's good looking Stonehenge. <laughs> that is 100% his face. <laughs> oh, Easter Island statues. There All you right. go. That's 100% him. I felt like the movie was actually a pretty strong ensemble. While you had your two characters who were, you know, Sidney Sweeney and Glenn Powell, B and Ben. While I thought they were really strong. And then the first half was like an ensemble movie. I kind of felt like I was forgetting about the ensemble for mm-hmm. a lot of the mm-hmm. second half of the film to the point where I was like, oh, yeah, we're at a wedding. <laughs> and like that's that's the purpose. And then I think they would shy away from parts like the, a little bit of leaning into some quote unquote drama 
where it's not like a, the movie doesn't turn into a drama, but that would just enhance the comedy, which was already a really funny movie. You know, I felt like they were getting a lot of passes and, and getting forgiven yeah. for a lot of the disruptions that they were causing on the yeah. wedding. And it was to the point, have you seen Meet the Parents? No. Oh, I think you would actually like that movie. Really? I really do. Yeah. I don't know. I Doesn't l- it have Ben Stiller in it? Yeah, it's not I like it's really not like it's not like typical Ben Stiller. Okay. Yeah, it's it's a really funny. Movie. I think you have to. I I, I think you would really like that movie. Really? <laughs> um, but the awkwardness of contributing to the wedding, I, I would. I think. Um, it, I, I wish we kind of kept them at the. They didn't even be at the forefront. I get the focus yeah. has to shift, but I would sort of forget about uh, the rest of the cast when I, I did think they were actually helping to elevate it. But again, you know, these are more like nitpicky things, or even like. The, the drama of the parents bringing the ex fiance. I'm like, how is no one pissed about this? Like, it doesn't really sis- amount to yeah. anything. How does her sister not be like, this is really messed up? Or no one else be like, this yeah. is really messed up. Like, yeah, it's just, but it's, I'm, but I'm only thinking about, I'm only thinking about these things because we have a camera pointer. Right? I wouldn't care either <laughs> if we, way. If yeah. We didn't have like yeah. really just going like, well, what else? You know, but if the camera was for us, I'd be like, that nah, was fun. Yeah, <laughs> was I'd fun be like, time. that was a that's exactly <laughs> what I wanted it to I'm be. Sure, so. could it have been greater? Of course, and there are, uh, these are like suggestions merely that maybe could have lent itself to uh, a film that yeah. could have maybe gotten a higher Rotten Tomato score. If they did a little bit of more, what's the Rotten Tomatoes score? It's only like fifty-four percent. It's kind of low from critics. Yeah. What's audience score? I think it's like eighty-five. That makes sense. Yeah. It's critics cool. want depth and <laughs> <laughs> critics want <laughs> nuance. And <laughs> that's not what I want by Rob Combs, buddy. So, <laughs> to be quite honest with you, it doesn't bother me. But the movie's got heart. It does. And that's all that really counts. Yeah. And uh, boobies. And boobies. And nudity. A lot of Glenn Powell nudity. Oh, uh, yeah. And that one guy with the... He didn't get more attractive to you? No, I just see this. Glenn Powell didn't grow at all, even with his personality? No, I just see the rock face. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Glenn Powell. He doesn't care. <laughs> yeah, I was like, it's not bothered by me. Not by me. There are plenty of other women who do. He's not bothered by it. But... Yeah, it's, it was it was cute, right? Yeah. What were they doing with the butt thing, though? Do people do that? Put their hands down. I don't know. There's is things. that a thing people do? When you've been together for as long, like Lou and I have been <laughs> together for like seven years, yeah. And then you talk to like we have like single friends, and we hear about their dating lives and what what apps are like now. I'm like, wow, I could not survive in the <laughs> wilderness anymore. <laughs> this is a whole new like, get, like the way you guys talk to each other and and. Uh, the, the new terminologies and uh, y'all kids the, the, with your the, hip the comfortable lingo. everyone's polyamorous I'm like, I don't know what the hell's I going know. on out here <laughs> everyone's running free it's the freaking wild west of dating right really now is, I don't know what's happening really is you know God bless y'all who are in that because whew, no one wants loving is getting heartbroken at the same time I don't I'm care like, I don't know what you guys are doing so crazy I don't care how unhappy we are. We're not jumping back into that pod. No, so. man. All right. Be comfortable. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right. Settle. That's the real Rob Cop I want to see. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or just watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> Eat pizza together. That's, that's Sounds a like a freaking, freaking dream. horror movie. Where they, they, you guys talk about it in your dates and your online dating. And like, oh, there's stuff here happening. I'm like, I guess this is what like single people do now <laughs> to show affection. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> so awkward. I know. I'm like, and around family too, like they were really going for they're it. They're really like, comfortable. Wow, wow. Not not us. <laughs> That's not. Yeah. And I'm a okay with that, you guys. You know, That's why who, I watch these movies. I'm like, oh, yeah, this good is, for you. It's my education. I cannot. I cannot muster to. I'm always curious. It's fun to hear about, but yeah. It's an not. interesting. F- Flip side because I see movies like this and I enjoy watching it, but I'm never like, what are you looking at? But I'm never like, <laughs> oh wow, that that's like the dream romance story. But then I watch like Bridgerton and I'm like, oh, this is clearly fake because no man like this truly exists in the world, you know? It's it's such, this is more realistic to me, even though it's got a lot of outlandish parts. Yeah. What do you mean this movie? Yeah. Oh. No, the stone face man. We're <laughs> <laughs> I heard a s- story about a woman who left. Oh, really? It's not a romantic comedy, but I love the notebook. Um, 
I do love the Notebook too. That's a, 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 there was a story about a woman who left her man after she watched the Notebook because she realized she'll never find a man like that. Really? Yeah. Dude, who are you going to be with that? <laughs> like, <laughs> that is not real. Th- those guys do not exist. If you know them, drop the number in the comments. Yeah, I want to meet Tim. But th- that doesn't, that is not real to me. You know, it is that fantasy. Just like Margot Robbie's a fantasy for most men and Sydney Sweeney. She's marrying some like super rich man. Look up her fiance. He's like. I don't want to say it's spooky, but I can't believe you said that. I don't know what you said. <laughs> <laughs> I really have no idea what you said. <laughs> Margot Robbie's He's not the conventionally attracted type that you would imagine with Sydney Sweetie. Well, oh, that was good. I did good there. And then, yeah, you did. Yeah, you just got to get the mean thing out of the way yeah. first <laughs> <laughs> to open the yeah. door for the nice thing. Amazing. I got to abuse my <laughs> wife first so I can. So the come down is really sweet. <laughs> wow, those are very two different things that we just <laughs> equated there, man. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, I, th- I think Sydney Sweeney's like fine. I think she's fine. She has that, she has that tone, that very Daria tone. I feel like her, her, her. Uh, are you talking about like her skin tone, or are you talking about like her, uh, her, her, her voice, voice tone. her voice, very <laughs> yeah. monotone at times? Yeah, I think sometimes here she's great, and other times it does sound a little bit um, flat. Yeah. Um, I never got that impression with her character in Euphoria because her, I just thought her character was like. Hyper- I don't think she's trying to win awards here for. I, I, th- I think she's like hyper depressed in Euphoria, so I'm like, it works. Yeah, <laughs> that's her character. She's super sad. She could win what Golden Globes and Emmys over there. She's not win that here, so. Uh, she's making bank though, man. I know. I mean, she's a, she's that's all that matters. She's executive producer on this. That's really all that matters. Margot Robbie produced Barbie. I'm going to be like $50 million off Barbie. Why did you allow us females to have so now much she's, power? Now she's, no, there's Sydney Sweeney producing this. I'm like, damn, she's like a multimillionaire now. That's nuts. Who needs to return back for Euphoria yeah. season three? She once said, too, that she couldn't that she couldn't stop working because she couldn't afford to live in Los Angeles. She did like this whole interview oh, where yeah, she worked She got so a lot much. of crap for that. Yeah. She sat on an ice cube or something? Or, hmm? Is that a photo? She like sat on an ice cube? I don't know what she was. That's the other new trend that I see. Like single people are really into sitting on ice cubes. Like like girls in bikinis in the snow. What you know, like like influencer girls. They. What are you looking at? Let me see your phone. I'm not looking at anything. It's like when shit pops up on when when they have like fucking. You've had to have. Do you not know how the algorithm works? I do know how the algorithm works. At some point, it has had to pick this up for you. Look what's at the top of my fucking. Oh, this look at that shit. Cake. I open up Instagram and it's my f- wife at the very top. <laughs> She's trying to call me on some shit. <laughs> wife. <laughs> Sometimes shit just pops up. Look, look, it's not anything. It's once in a while. You'll see. I don't have like a photo of it. I'm literally scrolling through Instagram. I don't know, man. Oh, look, I'm going to type it in right oh now. Oh, my gosh, please. Like... Influencer girls in snow. It's, oh. it's like the weirdest thing I see. Girls in bikinis in snow. What the fuck do I? What would I type to find this? I don't know, Greg. What would you type? Well, clearly it's not in the search history. Yeah, because John's back here. We know he's not searching up girls. We in have the same snow. computer link. They're all the same profile. See all this? Girls in bikinis in the snow, or the sentence again? They're lingerie. And I don't understand what the appeal is of this. Doesn't it look like really uncomfortable? It looks like a photo shoot. <laughs> well, why? Why? Why is this like an appeal? I don't know why this bothers. Look, oh. there's so many. You know what? I've changed my mind. Glenn Powell is attractive. <laughs> this, isn't this odd to you? No, because I don't see this ever. It's a really. This is so strange to me. <laughs> Wow. Because they're not doing this for other women. They're doing this because this is apparently what guys are into now. No one. Or maybe, look, maybe they're just having fun in the snow. Why do they have to be doing anything for men? These are girls in bikinis in the snow. Okay. And they're doing like modeling photo shoots. There's hot tubs in the snow too. None of them are near a hot tub. 
Yeah, because it's off to the side. I don't understand the purpose. Like this, like this stuff. Look at the Kardashians. Yeah. They're in the snow. I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't see the appeal. Honestly, I don't. If I saw a girl in a bikini in the snow, I get her a coat. Now we know what my husband looks at. So there's that. You mean to tell me. Why are me, you wearing your wedding ring? You know what? Just give it to me. Let's throw it in the trash. I play with my ring. Let's just throw it in the trash you at this point. <laughs> Don't worry about wearing them anymore. No, nah, you get if my someone t- other, If another female wants you, they could have you. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's not going to happen. <laughs> we talked can, about this. You could have him, We ladies. talked about this. Take him. We talked about this. <laughs> we must settle for each other. I don't have to settle for anything. Yeah, you do. I don't. You don't know what it's like out there. But You'd you have to pose in your in a bikini in the snow to survive. <laughs> you do buy me food. <laughs> so. Apparently, what all our single female it friends is ju- are I have literally doing. never seen this. I'm on TikTok 24-7. I've never seen this. I don't it use TikTok. You. I'm on Instagram. It is you. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. It is you. I don't see videos of it. I've never seen a video of it. Are there videos of that? Oh, my God. <laughs> are there videos of girls in the snow in bikinis? No one's going to want you to approach them in the snow. <laughs> I've seen you in the snow. <laughs> you're fucking, you're hot. <laughs> Damn, you're sexy. Oh my God. Is that how you approach women? Because it's the snow. Is you're that like, how you approach women? He did not approach me like this. I don't know how to approach mean? women. I never, I've never known. So <laughs> oh, you're like, Is this what you're, what are they attracting? <laughs> Are there no. guys who come up to girls in the <laughs> snow in the bikini and they're like, so perfectly so hit. Like, I mean, there doing? must be attracting a certain type of guy who wants who's willing to be like, yeah, I'm not going to keep you warm. I'm going to, I like you at naked in the snow. I don't understand what it. Is happening right because now? I'm trying to tell you, I don't get the appeal. Why? Why does it matter? What process? This is, I don't know because we were talking about things that people are into now that we don't Can, get, and I don't I get this. Never want to sit next to you and watch a movie ever I don't again understand in my life. It. Ever again. We have to unpack it. You need to unpack this with your therapist is what you need to unpack. Okay, what about like women who are apparently into, is, are dad bods still a thing? What do you mean? Are dad yes. bods still a thing? Like thing that like, I'm into dad bods. Clearly. Wow. <laughs> you want to embarrass me by talking about fucking, all you think about is girls in the snow and bikinis? I'm going to say you have a dad I bod. I don't think about girls in the you snow and bikinis. You have it on your Instagram, I apparently. I worry for girls in the snow and bikinis. Those are two very This is really bad for your health. This is, yes, it is. I don't understand. Like You should be keeping warm. <laughs> hey, this is gold right here. You showed up for a reaction to anyone but you. But and you're getting the, Greg's deepest desires. I, I, I'm telling you right now. That is not a desire. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like a father who sees like girls on Girls Gone Wild being like, bod. being like, what are you children doing? <laughs> like, this is so bad for your image. Don't do this. <laughs> like that. that is what I have turned into. <laughs> this is so not right. I don't understand why. Is oh. this the lengths you go to now? <laughs> wow. Wow. Anything for a viral video or picture, I guess. Anyway, no let's move on from that and let's be done with this because I'm hungry. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, are you drawing a woman in the snow oh, in bikinis? Please. Do you do that? What is the, can you lay it out for me? Could someone drop a good divorce attorney down below in the comments? You're please? acting like I look this up. I, it's you popped up. You yes. know how the algorithm works. I'm telling works. you right so now. So at some point, yes, you either had to talk about girls with bikinis in the snow or... No, I know it's not. Sometimes shit just happens where they take, like, I'll be on Twitter looking at movie um, posts, and then the replies are like naked women for some reason. Because that's what yeah, they. Yeah, that is a problem on Twitter. I've never been like, eh, scroll on Instagram, girl, the bikini just popped up randomly. Now it's going to. Oh, no, my phone's inside. It's not hearing me. But you've had to. Would that happen if yes. we're talking about it? That yes, it's just it like, hears you. That it just like, wait, let's test it out. It listens to you. Let's test it out. That'd be crazy. Girls in snows and bikinis. Show me. Instagram. Go to Twitter. <laughs> I get what you're saying. It it like You know what I look at a lot of? 
is a lot of personal training videos. Oh, maybe. Female personal training videos? No, I got no use for that. Well, you could use a butt, but... Butt, butt. <laughs> I do start to do some, like, girl butt workouts. Glenn Powell does Pilates. Look it up. I believe you. But no, I... Uh, but why... I don't understand. But it, why would it feed me that when I'm... I don't know how the algorithm works. I'm telling you, the phone listens to you. I'll be talking about, like, some product or something... Or, and it pops up. I even just switch profiles near the top. Again, <laughs> see? <laughs> see, like that. Like the first, the third person is like this personal training guy. Shouts out to Bernard Abiel. Oh, but you won't shout out my TikTok, Greg, huh? To the top of this video. <laughs> Alrighty. We've procrastinated. Yes. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs>